This is the Simulation Football League, presented by APM Music on Twitch. It's time for a border battle. Sioux Falls hosts a team from Minnesota for the first time since Season 7 of the SFL when the Minneapolis Maulers defeated the Sparrows in the playoffs on their way to their second title. Bump coverage now by the corners on those four wide receivers on another third down. Reno. Two false and four pass over the oh. middle trying to look for Banks again and they can't get it as it's turned over a nice pick from Nathan Barnett and Sioux Falls will take over in Minnesota territory. This third and two is going to be key because they really need to get a first down before they get to, uh, to the halfway point of this first quarter. Another heavy set out run left hand side that's good enough for a first as they get out of bounds around the 23 yard line it's the tight end J.J. McGee. Now from the 18, two wideouts. They're going to go with a run near side for Duncan. Duncan with a couple of nice blocks, and Duncan is free to scamper on home. Touchdown, Sioux Falls. They strike first. As Minnesota trying to convert, they're in a short yardage situation, have not been able to do so in the last four consecutive short yardage plays. Hand off left side, Hart. This time they'll convert, and for big yardage across the midfield stripe, and down to the Sioux Falls 41. Plant pattern over the middle. They find Jason France again. And it's they're down to the 26 yard line. Now Sioux Falls gonna put a little pressure on those wideouts coming right up to the line of scrimmage. Reno, little floater, diving catch is hauled in. Tank didn't look like a tank. He looked like a jetliner over the middle of the field. Reno looking to the end zone. Touchdown! Viva La France! The Minnesota legend come right back. Offset eye, eight men in the box to try and counter this eye formation look. Pass over the middle and right into the awaiting arms of the defender. Minnesota take it over. Now both teams have an interception on the ball game. Third interception of the camp, of this early campaign for Cody Griffin, and now it's Minnesota's turn to start in plus territory. Reno looking over the middle, and they oh. give it right back! Griffin leading the way in tackles with six today. Kyrie, floater near side on the out route, caught first down. It will give a loss of one, my apologies, and it's going to a play action. Tyree looking out route, caught. Near the sideline, inbound with A.J. Warren. And again, Sioux Falls will make it another first down on third down. Sounds about right, partner. Second and nine now for the Sparrows. This drive continues to press on. Out route, near side. A.J. Warren spinning up field and will get the first down before B.J. Lovells hits him out of bounds at the 14-yard line. Looks like he collided with Axel Raven in on the play. Maybe something to do with his knee. We'll get the report from you as soon as it's available. Meanwhile, Zostel Black, a chip shot from the right hash, 21 yard field goal is up and good. And Sioux Falls take the lead 10 to seven. With backfield behind Tyree here on a new set of downs. Tyree looking over the middle, caught, shifty move from the wide out, gains them nine yards. Because that'll get, the, that'll get Sioux Falls in field goal range. This time with their empty set, force an incompletion. Five wideouts, three to the left, two to the right. Tyree looking for the corner route. Ah, tippy toe grab by Noe Tarazis to keep the drive alive again. Got behind the defense, and they're inside the red zone. And Tarazis was left on a one on one with Derek Meerkat, this time just burning past him. No problems whatsoever. My mistake, that's actually Johnny Bravo that got burned there as Derek Meerkat decided to play the close game. Here in the second half, Sioux Falls have had two drives go deep into Minnesota territory, only having to come away with chip shot field goals. This one, a 17-yard attempt. Poor snap is finally corralled by Willie Beeman. Kick is up and good. So great job so far dictating the pace of this drive. Clock getting close to the three-minute mark. Reno, corner route, left-hand oh. side, and they got a little too greedy. It's picked up by Barnhart. Here for an exciting conclusion. Tyree's gonna throw here on second down for Duncan, right hand side. He oh. lost the football, and Minnesota's defense <laughs> are the return! And it's gonna be a football return touchdown! The legend defense becomes legendary! 
And we're talking about the man that we've talked about all second half who's made the key stops on third downs. He's made key deflections on first and second down. It's going to be Derek Meerkat with the fumble recovery, and he waltzed it in for the end zone. But a big credit there to Juan Mississippi making the big tackle on Marcus Duncan. Sometimes experience wins over the rookie hands, and this time Minnesota using their veteran leadership. If they can get to the 35-yard line, they're definitely in Zoshua Black's range. Tyree is going to look to throw, right hand side, caught inside the 35, down to the 31, goes the wide receiver A.J. Warren and they're right into field goal range. Shotgun set, they're going to pass again over the middle, caught by Noe Tarazis, first down on Minnesota's 21, the legend call a timeout. This is longest of the ball game. Snap spot, Black's kick is up, no problems there. And the lead swings back into Sioux Falls' favor, 16-14. You need to get him to within the 35 yard line of Sioux Falls and get out of bounds or just go for it all here. Two wide outs to the left, two wide outs to the right. With Hart in the backfield off Torino's right. Reno looking over the middle, caught short of the marker. They're going to hurry up to the 46-yard line. Reno trying to get his man set. Two seconds, one second, nope. and clock has expired on Minnesota. Barrows take the win, 16-14, and an instant classic.